Hey everybody, Corridon here, going over to the weekly challenge where we are going to be getting the Minotaur card back, or showing you how to draft for it. You just have to reach the third floor of the challenge to unlock this card back, and this is Wild Champions for the week of August 31st, 2023. So let's go ahead and see what that entails. On the weekly modifiers, we got Contain Fury, where Fury increases damage by 2% instead of 3% per charge, but no longer applies bleed at the end of the turn, which is pretty good. This also works for enemy fury, so do be careful about that. Especially on Corruptors, where you are giving the monsters fury for every attack you do. Vigorous Monsters, monster max HP plus 25%, pretty bad, but dealable. Double Boons, whenever you receive a boon, receive an additional copy. That's really good for us. You can take Nezglux level 5, where he puts a boon in your deck and you'll get double amount. There's also an arena fight you can do, and a couple card mini games you can do to get more boons. Fast Monsters is Monster Speed plus one, that's not great for us. Wealthy Heroes, each hero begins with 300 gold shards, that's great. And Poverty, acquisition of gold shards during their run is reduced by 30%, which is bad. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what we get to draft. I'm going to bring up the card pools here. As always, they will be in the description below, so let me get my YouTuber face out of here and bring this... Uh, not that one. This one. Alright, for Heiner, I, I have a defensive and offensive build, and as always, top cards are before reroll, bottom cards after reroll. Uh, for a defensive roll, I went for the commander, for the battle plan, defender for the entrench, and random for the stockade. And then we got the shield wall in case you want to go super defensive, but you can probably just go with a... Uh, throw bowl is if you want to do a little bit of speed control there. For the red, I have destroyer for the wrecking ball. Random for the butchering, because that butchering is surprisingly effective. And then brawler for the punch, bluff, and headbutt. Let's go ahead and take a look at Otis now. Otis, as always, big DPS, loves the Divine Insight. Crusader has this really good Holy Nova. And then random for the Divine Iron and Sacred Bolt. If you want to play a defensive Otis, I'd go Protector, Devotee, and Friar after a reroll. Because that Protect from Evil is really amazing. Rookly, I just went all DPS. I don't really have a bleed build for him. I just went for the Axeman because that Corrupted Carnage is amazing. Uh, Swordsman for the Sharpen and Cleave. And then random for another Cleave and Flanking Strike. Not much to say there. Uh, the Sever Artery might be good if you're going for like a bleed build. It's a surprising amount of damage. Nice to only do one build here because I think he heals enough through just applying stuff. So we got the Seer for the Expected Prophecy and Fortune Telling both blue, which are amazing when upgraded to blue. Random has the Terrorize Anthem of Hope Omniscience. Omniscience is like in everything, so or in both these random packs, so you can't go wrong with either one, but I love this Mesmeric Mirage. It showed up so much, did so much work. And Ventilist for the Mind Visions and Mind Twist, which are good uh, Exploders, Corruptor, or Detonators as we call them. Alright, let's go in and take a look at what the draft will be. Let me go ahead and get that out and show a bit at the first floor since I already did play this one. Let's take that Commander Pack, take that Destroyer, and reroll for the Stockade. Getting that Destroyer, taking the blunt damage, speed, vulnerable, and it's tempting to consider the bleed for the butchering, but butchering already does 24 and you just increased it to 26. I think I'm just gonna go uh, crack for his own benefit. Nah, go powerful in case we get a battle shout. Alright, so Crusader, just a car, of course, and we reroll, get the random pack. Take the Divine Insight, and go HP, or no, we don't want speed because we actually want him going slower than Nezglect in most cases, so we'll go burn stacks, something like that, because Nezglect is a lot better at buffing Otis than vice versa. We're going to reroll and take Mentalist, Seer, Randomize here. I know I just skipped over Grigley, we'll get back to him, and taking this Mesmeric Mirage is awesome. We'll do Speed, Insanity, Sight. And then, hard to say here, there is a winged wand, so fast stacks might not be that bad. So I'm going to take that knowing a little bit of the future. Future. And then Grookly's 
we will go for the cleave hamstring intimidate reroll or the sharpen and the other cleave and we'll take this corrupted carnage we'll go sharp fury bleed and speed actually we'll take the vulnerable we don't need the speed we're gonna be slow as heck with almost everybody in this front anyways take the golden cross there Take the fishing rod here, take the gold ring on here, and then we'll put the leather gloves on. Now this is for the Mesmeric Mirage. So this node right here is you buy the map for the arena, and you get an extra boss fight at the end. So you'll probably just want to like go up here this way, get this extra fight that they added with the new patch, because so you can do easier score runs. And that's the way I'd go. I'm going to do a sample fight and go to uh, get money. And we'll go to the exact shop. But we do want to save money for the map for 600. We'll just do a sharpen, intimidate, flanking strike, fast strike. And this is just a Mesmeric Mirage right out of the gate. Deals half of everybody's HP, and we heal a lot from that. And then we get a Divine Insight. It's almost tempting the Holy Nova, though. Because we can... We can do double Holy Nova, which does almost the same. But we won't get a Divine Eye, so we're just going to do Divine Insight, I think. And a Dawn Light on the back. Uh, this might be a one turn. Let's just go ahead and pop the energy down. Oh, one HP. You can definitely one turn that and get, go for a good high score. We'll take that ground slam. I think we'll pass on everything else. That flash, that zero cost flash might actually be good in uh, Otis's deck. So I'm just going to put the Breastplate up front, put the Clergy there, and then pass on these two. Oh, there is a War Banner, which is amazing. We'll buy the War Banner. You can buy... You can upgrade the Breastplate even if you want. You can get these Garnet Earrings, but you do want to save 600 for this node right here by the Coliseum map, because that is insanely good for you. And when you get to the Coliseum, you just want to fight the boss. But that'll be it. Thank you for uh, watching. Hope you do well on this weekly. Let me know if you have problems. I'll try my best to help out. And be well. Crush teeth. Do good. Be good. You're awesome. Valid. Amazing. Goodbye.